In this tutorial, we will discuss about the mechanism of breathing. Before we move towards the explanation, let me tell you people about the last video regarding the respiratory system. In the human respiratory system, in the last video, we have discussed the respiration, the introduction of the respiration, the respiratory passage, the shape of the lungs, the parts of the respiratory system and the difference between the breathing and respiration. What is the main difference between the terms breathing and respiration? And we have also talked about the types of the respiration, aerobic, anaerobic, external, internal, we discussed all. Now let's come towards today's topic that is the mechanism of breathing. Before we move towards the explanation, let us define the breathing, what breathing is. It is actually the exchange of the gases during inhalation and exhalation when we are inhaling and exhaling in the meanwhile there is exchange of the gases now what are those gases we have different type of the gases present in the air but according to this lecture regarding the human respiratory system we will focus today just on the carbon dioxide gas and oxygen gas so during the inhalation we actually inhale the oxygen and in the meanwhile during the exhalation we actually exhale the carbon dioxide gas so oxygen will move into the body and carbon dioxide will move out of the body this is the very logic of the breathing so what's happening in the breathing we are inhaling and exhaling and in the meanwhile there is the exchange of the gases oxygen and carbon dioxide gas and uh, now let's uh, elaborate the mechanism so this entire mechanism of breathing is actually functional through the very simple principle that is the Boyle's law so the entire breathing is actually functional according to Boyle's law now what is Boyle's law according to Boyle's law pressure is inversely proportional to the volume now what is meant by this relation simple if you increase the pressure the volume will decrease and if you decrease the pressure the volume will increase it means they are actually opposite if you are increasing one another will decrease got if you are increasing the pressure the volume will decrease if you are increasing the volume the pressure will decrease very simple now let's consider this principle for our breathing mechanism of the breathing okay so according to the breathing point of view pressure in the atmosphere is 760 mm of Hg okay and the same pressure is available inside the lungs we call it as intrapleural pressure okay that is also 760 mm of Hg means pressure inside and outside the body both are same means outside it is also 760 inside intrapleural is also 760 then it is obvious and we know that if the pressure is same then there will be no any kind of exchange or change or transfer of the cases so then how actually this exchange takes place now let's take the help from the Boyle's law we got the concept here according to Boyle's law if you increase the volume the pressure will decrease if you increase the pressure the volume will decrease so now how this principle is valid for the mechanism of breathing very simple during the inhalation when we are inhaling in the meanwhile our uh, intercostal muscles the muscles between the ribs and the muscle that is the diaphragm these two muscles they contract now what is going to happen during their contraction simple concentrate just I inhaled chest moved out and the abdomen moved in when I exhaled the chest moved in and the abdomen is moving out now this is actually going to tell us about the muscles contraction and relaxation during the inhalation when we inhale the intercostal muscles remember intercostal muscles are of two types internal and external now I'm not going in depth of the anatomy of these intercostal muscles contraction and relaxation just remember that during the inhalation the intercostal muscles contract and when they contract the rib cage will move out and regarding the diaphragm if it contracts then it will move down and what is going to happen in the meanwhile in the meanwhile the lungs they will get space so the volume of the lungs will increase and this is the valid point that if the volume is getting increased the pressure will decrease inside the lung so if the intrapleural pressure decreases so what will happen then from the high pressure the gases will move inside so outside we have 760 mm of Hg and inside we had 760 but now due to the contraction of the intercostal muscles and the diaphragm we got the space for the lungs and the pressure will decrease why because the volume is increased we know that if the volume is increasing if the volume is increasing the pressure will decrease so inside the lungs intrapleural pressure will decrease before it was 760 
760 outside, 760 inside. Now it will become 758 mm of a G. So what is going to happen now? Simple. Here the pressure is high and inside the lungs, intraplural pressure is low. So the gases will move from outside to inside. Means during the inhalation, the oxygen will just move into the body. Simple. And now what is going to happen in the exhalation? Simple. Again, our diaphragm will relax. So it will move up and our intercostal muscles will relax they will move in simple just to concentrate chest moved out abdomen moved in during the inhalation exhalation chest moved in and abdomen moved out why because intercostal muscles relaxed and the same is the case for diaphragm it also relaxed so both the muscles relaxed that caused increase in the pressure on the lungs now the volume of the lungs actually the, that is going to be decreased and we know that if the volume is decreasing, if the volume is decreasing, the pressure is going to be increased. And that is the very factor. Due to which will happen, if the volume gets decreased, so the pressure will increase. Before it was 758 and outside was 760 during the inhalation. Now during the exhalation, the volume is becoming decreased. So what will happen? Now this will shift from 758 to 762. Now inside the lungs in trapleural pressure is 762 millimeter of mercury and outside is 760 now here the pressure is high as compared to atmospheric pressure so the gases inside the lungs will move out while during exhalation we exhale the carbon dioxide gas out this is the very logic behind difference of the pressure and difference of the volume during the inhalation the volume of the lungs increase due to the intercostal and diaphragm these muscles contraction okay the volume is increased and during the exhalation the volume is decreased due to the pressure of the intercostal muscles and diaphragm because they both relaxed they relaxed and they just decreased the volume of the lungs and due to which the pressure increased according to Boyle's law simple again once again Boyle's law states that if you are increasing the pressure the volume will decrease if you are decreasing the pressure the volume will increase so the case is just here in the lungs we are increasing the volume so the pressure is getting decreased we are decreasing the volume the pressure is actually getting increased and due to which we're actually inhaling and exhaling in a very easy way and that's it all from my side regarding the breathing the mechanism of breathing i hope you got and if still you have any kind of confusion feel free to ask us in the comment box and thank you for watching